There is the veteran offensive coordinator Mike Denbrock. As they're going to keep it with Diggs, and here goes Logan Diggs. And look at him turning around Zion Puckett, the safety for Auburn, as Logan Diggs continues his way. He gets a lot of movement and push this way, which gives a crease for Diggs. He's so good and patient when running between the tackles. Second and eight, Daniels pulls it. He quickly gets it to Neighbors, and Malik Neighbors is off to the races. Touchdown! Tigers. You can't start better than that. 29 yards. Daniels to neighbors. Yeah, it's basically modern day triple option football. It can go there. Quarterback can keep it. You get Mason Taylor blocking. And in the flat is Malik Neighbors. The football can be in three different places at once. Modern day triple option. They run this scheme over and over all throughout the season. They can run it in their sleep. And there's that fast start this LSU offense was looking for. Going to their go-to receiver. Daniels. This is where he's so dangerous. Where it's effortless. All of a sudden you blink. And he's downfield for a chunk play. And just lost it there. He goes inside. He comes outside. And that's just too easy for Jaden Daniels. He feels that. That's the sixth sense. He's not even trying to get through a progression. As soon as he sees green grass and you're playing man coverage, you got your backs turned to him. Number five. Daniels on second down. Has time over the middle and complete to neighbors and neighbors has it down to about the 13 yard line for LSU fourth receiver watch his eyes. He's looking right one two not there middle of the field doesn't like it and then he finds the window on the dig route to neighbors. It just shows you how comfortable he is now in his second year in Mike Denbrock's offense a year. Ago. Seven of nine on the season this just from 30 as he's able to put it through. Second and 11. Daniels out of the backfield is Emery wide open is John Emery. One man to beat a stiff arm ride down to the 17 yard line. Call you're taking your center you're pulling him this way you get the jet going this way all the defense starts working that way and now you get the wheel down the sidelines by John Emery. He had a big game last year against Auburn over 100 yards rushing. Third and one, Emery straight ahead, and that pile will carry him inside the two-yard line. It'll be first and goal. Emery tries to spin over a defender. Ball came out at the end, but the whistle was blown. And let's see how they mark this. Play up the middle of the field. It was called down initially. By reviewing it again, right elbow doesn't touch, right knee doesn't touch. I don't think his left arm touched either. I couldn't see any to have success in the NFL. That has not been the story this year. First down, Thorne is going to tuck and run, and with that, he's going to get inside the 20-yard line and another first down. Oh, Jarquez Hunter, talented running back in the Wildcat. Direct snap, Hunter probing and diving ahead. Touchdown, Auburn. So they split out Thorne. Hunter takes the direct snap, and now they're separating Tiger v. Tiger. Momentum, but look at the feet here by Hunter. He does a great job because Mason Smith gets penetration, and he's able to just kind of bounce around him really. A lot of guys standing up trying to confuse this LSU offensive line. Daniels with time, good protection, and with that, he connects to Lacey. Kyron Lacey past midfield, first down LSU. Daniels on second and ten. Steps up in the pocket. Daniels tucks. He is slithery. And look at how he's able to push the pile. Showing blitz. They drop guys out. And guys get out of their rush lane. So again, Jaden Daniels takes off. And it's amazing how he kind of throws his body. Daniels trying to find an option. That ball's in the air. And it is intercepted by James. This Auburn defense comes up big just before halftime. Breaking on this. He's at the top of the screen. He's hunting up outside and neighbors. You see how he just puts his foot in the ground. He's gotten a couple picks on throws like that early this year. It gets popped up in the air and intercepted by DJ James. Auburn has been awesome at taking the ball away this year. That's now their 11th takeaway on the season. And that could not have come at a bigger time.
Asher going to take a shot downfield. And high pointing that ball was Frazier. Brandon Frazier comes up big. He was matched up with Major Burns. Ashford's in the game. LSU's thinking, run. Look at all the guys they have in the box. And when he fakes the handoff, it freezes everybody in the second level. And that allows the tight end, Frazier. you got to get at least a hand on him somehow. Here comes Third again. down and five. I mean, look at this guy. From 38 yards out of the hole to Chapman. And they'll take anything they can get. They look like they're on spring break. They've had about six <laughs> Red Bulls each. Oh. <laughs> Caleb Jackson on the return. And Caleb Jackson showing exactly what he's capable of. Look at the true freshman. Big return for the local guy. He was able to break a tackle from Cam Riley, a big linebacker right here that weighs 250 pounds. But again, we talked about how physical this true freshman running back is. He had a nice jet sweep earlier in the game, and here making his impact on special teams and putting Jaden Daniels in his offense in beautiful field position. 60 yards. They're down in seven. He shift protection with Williams and Taylor, the tight end. Daniels. Inside the 10, working his way into the end zone is Kyron Lacey. Touchdown, LSU. But watch Josh Williams pick this up and just stone the blitz and give Jaden Daniels an opportunity to get this off. He delivers the blow, another really clean pocket, and there's Kyron Lacey. Easy pitch and catch. But how about Jaden Daniels pre-snap? Daniels with time and able to get it to Lacey, and Lacey breaks free. This is exactly what the LSU receivers do. Cuts back against the grain, still on his feet, and finally taken down all the way near the 10-yard. With his hands quick, Daniels knows he's trying to fit this down the seam. Hitch, ball out now, and because he gets that, he has an opportunity to make a move or make seven moves with it after he makes the catch. Really nice job in the open field working. <laughs> Second and goal, backed up to the 21, going to check down on Williams. Williams inside the five, going for the pylon, and getting there is Josh Williams. Touchdown, LSU. Drop two linebackers out right here, but no one's there for the check down. You see Jane Daniels is going to start this progression working to his left, not there, go to two, not there. Where's my check down? Get it to him early, and again, when you get it to him early, there's space between the ball carrier and the defender. You saw it earlier in the drive on that catch by Lacey. you got to find positives where you can get them. Listen, there are going to be a lot of positives in the future years with what Hugh Freeze is doing, but right now need to get out of this hole, and they do so here with Jay Fair. Yeah. Concentrated, focused, and was able to haul it. As Robbie Ashford in the game on second and goal. Ashford goes underneath and spinning into the end zone is Brandon Frazier. Frazier had a big reception earlier and now opens up the fourth quarter with a three-yard touchdown catch. Frazier just kind of finds his way in. There's one here, there's one out here, and he just kind of weaseled through right in the middle and then makes a guy miss at the end line. Right there, he just kind of threads the needle. He's able to use a nice little spin move. Good throw by Ashford. Ashford, two-point conversion attempt. <laughs> and goes to the end zone to Frazier again. Second and 12. Offensive line did their job, and then Daniels does his job, and then Malik Neighbors turns the corner, and again, what he is capable with the ball in his hand. Diggs powers his way into the end zone. Your chest at the point of attack. That's 325 pounds, the an extra 225. But, you know, you look at Oklahoma and you look at Washington now, yeah. and you think about resume as John Emery thinks about Adding to this lead, he just darts ahead for another first down. I think I think Florida State line. too, beating That's LSU right, beating at a LSU. neutral site early, and then going to Clemson and winning. Second and goal, Williams in for the touchdown. This kind of a pace of a game. 
was tough, hard running. I don't know if the knee might the knee looked like it may have been down before he crossed the goal line. Look here, Joe. Uh. You said, well, see that right breaks the plane there? right there. Did he break the plane at the same time?